Hi, Karen Wells, Independent Sensory Consultant. I have got a small haul and also a warming review. Uh, earlier this week, was it earlier this week? I must have got the uh, Glamorous You collection, <laughs> which really made me laugh when um, I first heard it. It reminded me of the Harry Potter um, Oh, I can't remember which one it is. I should actually watch them again. But um, when um, Kenneth Branagh is that um, teacher of the dark arts and he has books out called Magical Me. Probably doesn't mean much to you, but, you know, glamorous you, magical me. I thought it was amusing. The elephant in the room is the Sensi Air Purifier. I won't be getting the Sensi Air Purifier purifier because for me in my lifestyle I don't think it's necessary um, I know that a lot of people will be getting it and um, for me it's too expensive for something that I don't think I need um, whether I change my mind or not I don't know um, time will tell it's just that um, I don't have allergies I live here on my own and um, basically I won't be won't be getting it. So for those who are asking, um, it's not because I don't think it'll work because with uh, Sensi, they actually make sure that before anything is put on the market, it goes through rigorous testing. And I'm sure it works and does a fantastic job at, for those people who need it. And in my, as I said, at my point in my life, I don't think I need it. Um, so we'll start off with the warm review of um, my friend here, Jeannie, the uh, My Three Wishes, or Three Wishes, My Three Wishes. And uh, it's a Disney Aladdin scent. And um, basically for me, it is just um, a fruity blueberry and... I like this. It's really good. I won't be repurchasing anymore because uh, there are enough uh, blueberry scents that well, I have in my collection for a start. I have um, Blueberry Rush, which was a bring back my bar um, from last time. I have a bar. I think it's a bit too cold currently um, here in Australia to actually be warming it. Um, but I have given it this go. It is quite nice, um, but it is very much like Blueberry Rush which actually I like a bit better because I think it's actually stronger and does actually last for a long, or blue, um, very bright. And very, very bright is along these sort of lines. So three wishes, very nice, won't be a repurchase. And um, the other thing I also got is the um, scent of the month for September, 2021. And here in region three, it's called Opal Flowers. Now, as a consultant, um, we actually get um, six bars in our kit. They don't have a warmer of the month and they don't have um, room sprays or anything like that. We just get the six bars. So I've been madly making samples and uh, warming this. And I've actually gone through um, one and mostly a bar. Um, one I put through my unit um, to actually test it out and warm it for myself. And uh, this other partial bar has been um, making samples to send out to my friends and customers. So it's a lovely green wax. And on first sniff, I'm not quite sure why it's called opal flowers because I don't get any floral at all. So if you're thinking that opal flowers is going to be overly floral, I don't believe it is. But again, any of my opinions are based on my nose, my perception in my environment with my warmers. So from one person to the next, uh, their opinions can be varied very different so to me this is just fresh and green it is very pleasant and as the weather gets warmer i'm sure it will become very popular the notes are lush raspberry entwined with flowering lily of the valley and soft rose petals and it shines like a precious stone well i don't get raspberry Maybe I do get a little bit of the 
entwining vine from the raspberries. It is luscious greens. Oh, as my friend um, Catherine G, who was also a YouTuber here from Sydney, Australia, um, she said that it was like lush greens. And I, I, I do, it's very green for me. And I'm sure, as I said before, it'll be very popular, um, but it's certainly not in my wheelhouse. It's very fresh, very clean, and very green. That's Opal Flowers, scent of the month. Now, my small haul, I got the scent of the month kit. I also got from the clearance section a couple of buddy clips for a friend of mine who is unable to um, get them and I will actually um, post them on out. But I've got Mickey Mouse and also Minnie Mouse, and this is from the holiday collection last year. And there in Mickey Mouse and Friends is the scent that they are. And basically, <laughs> these are little scented Scentsy Buddies. And this is Mickey. Look how cute he is. He's just adorable. He's got a little clip on it, um, which you can actually hang from whatever you like. Your bag, your pusher, for kids pusher. Um, it's not a very strong scent. And it is very nice though. Um, I've actually, I don't know if I've actually melted Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse and Friends, um, but I did actually have a scent pack in my bag that was an absolute boomer, absolutely gorgeous. So um, I'm sure my friend or whoever he's going to uh, to give them to um, will thoroughly enjoy a holiday Scentsy Buddy. So I've got two of those. The other thing I picked up was a three pack um, from the Father's Day collection. I um, have two of the vanilla bourbons um, which I quite enjoy. It is very spicy. It's a vanilla nutmeg for me. I don't get any boozy note. And also One Perfect Gentleman, which is a manly cologne. And I've got the notes for that here, which is white amber oak moss fresh marine waters. It is lovely, um, but it is very light. So I was going to put these two in my Scentsy Club if I really like them. But I don't like them enough to have them in my Scentsy Club, so I've stocked up. I have a few of both of these, and that will probably do me, I reckon. Okay, so I'll just get, oh, and the other thing, at the bottom of my box. Um, I went through, I've just finished a body wash, and um, which will be in my empties, but I've actually gone for a Cloudberry Dreams in the body wash. I actually like the body wash. It is nice and moisturizing, and it lasts forever um just a little dab goes like i only need a small amount for the whole body wash and um cloudberry dreams really looking forward to that and this is raspberry rose peach and vanilla beautiful love that i'm really looking forward to that i'll, I'll open that and use that tonight okay the other thing i received was the glamorous you wax collection this is an absolutely glorious bag i can't remember who i was actually i've watched lots of videos I always lots of you know sensey videos are what i really enjoy and i can't remember who it was but somebody was saying how um their grandmother actually had uh this as a uh a flocked design on wallpaper and I actually, when I first moved out of home, my first unit, my first flat, had um, like a, a gold wallpaper and it had a flocked um, design. Um, is it Damask? I'm not sure. I think it's Damask. Um, flocked design in Burgundy. It was a really, it was a real boudoir, but there you go. So it is a beautiful bag. I didn't get the warmer. I don't need another warmer. It is a gorgeous warmer, um, but I am all about the wax. So there are five 
scents. I've actually sniffed these and I've actually started melting them. So this is a warm review. And um, I've got them in the order of the ones that I like. Um, Born to Shine. And again, the packaging is just stunning. They really go all out with their designs on their clamshells. Born to Shine is Nectarin, Pear Blossom and Cashmere Musk. It's a beautiful purple wax. And I actually put two cubes in a 25 watt warmer in my bedroom. Now I have a lot of trouble actually scenting up um, my unit and I don't know whether it's because it's drafty or just the design. Um, but especially when it's cooler, I have a lot of trouble actually smelling a lot of scents. So what I've done when I put two cubes in my warmer, I closed the door. I've had a very busy day today. I've been out most of the day. And when I came home and opened the doors, um, the, the wax had a good chance to melt and develop in an enclosed space. So I've got a good idea of what these are like. So this is uh, the one I like the best. And initially, I didn't think I was going to like it because it was going to be too fruity, a bit perfumey, but it is really nice. It's actually quite, um, it's one of those lingerers. It is soft. I didn't get knocked off my feet when I walked into the bedroom, but it was lovely. It had filled the room with this lovely, soft, um, slightly perfume, and I guess that's the blossom. Slightly citrusy, I do like citrus. Uh, and I guess also the cashmere musk, I can, I can smell the cashmere musk, which is, seems to me um, one of those base notes. It is lovely. Very nice. Will it be a repurchase? Not really sure. But Born to Shine for me is one that I'll really enjoy and it is my favourite out of the Glamorous U collection. Second in line is With Grace, which again is a beautiful pink wax, bright pink. And this one is uh, Gardenia Blossoms Pink Peony and Peony, Soft and Soft Musk. So it has all the right notes. I love um, gardenia. I love peony. So although on first sniff, I didn't think I was going to like this. This is very strong in the clamshell, whereas uh, Born to Shine was quite light. I didn't get a lot from it and it did actually perform very well. This one I actually put in my Scentsy room again in a 25 um, etched core warmer. Now that is the coldest room in my unit at the moment. It's the coldest room and it gets the hottest room in summer. But anyway, uh, again, I closed the door and it was very nice. It is not as strong and overpowering when melted as it is in the clamshell. It is very floral though, and I feel that if you don't like florals, this might be a little bit too much for you. Um, but for me, a floral lover, I really like this one. And again, I don't know whether I will actually repurchase it. There are a lot of lovely things coming out. Um, I think I might just enjoy this one, and I do. It is the second one um, in my preference. Um, with Grace, very nice. We'll see how we go. Once I finish it and have it in more rooms, perhaps, I may change my mind. Um, next in line is Keep It Sassy. And this is another gorgeous package. Sparkling lemon, cherry blossom and sugar cane. And I actually thought with the um, cherry blossom, I would like it because I like Sakura, which is basically a cherry blossom. Um, this on cold is very light. It's another lovely hot pink wax and it's not my favourite. I didn't really like it when it was melting and I'm not sure um, whether it's the the combination of the lemon and the cherry blossom. Oh, I don't know. There's just, it's very nice. Um, but uh, there's just this, there's a note in it that I don't like. 
and maybe it's the sugar cane or maybe it's just the combination of everything. I definitely won't be repurchasing it, um, but I know that a lot of people really do like it. Um, just not something that I will be repurchasing. The next one, which is sweet and, but fierce, and this is beautiful purple. And I thought that this was going to be the one that I would like the most. You know, just on scent notes, a pink jasmine, sweet violet and crystallised sugar because um, from previous collections, there's been um, violet and jasmine and I've really loved them. They've been um, ones that I've repurchased and really liked. Um, this one I put in my my spare room and it was in the 25 watt um, Darth Vader warmer, which, you know, I don't normally put <laughs> feminine ones in there, um, but I closed the door. Same with my uh, spare room. I had the door closed um, and when I opened it, it was quite nice and I don't know whether it's the violet. People are saying it's the violet and I don't know. I've got other note I've got other fragrances that've got the violet in it and there's just a note in it that just doesn't quite gel with me. So sweet but fierce um was quite nice but it certainly wasn't a standout. It's number 4 for me in the collection so it's Getting down towards the bottom definitely won't be a repurchase. Sweet but fierce. And lucky last, sadly, I, this one is Dazzle Darling. And by reading the notes and the first sniffs, I thought this is going to be one that's club worthy for me. It is salted grapefruit, even though it says salted, and also coastal waters, which sort of put me off initially, and beach sage. But when I smelt it, I thought, this is gorgeous. I absolutely love it. And it's changed for me now because I've actually had it warming. I actually had two cubes in my um, Himalayan salt warmer here in the lounge. Now in the lounge, it's difficult for me to actually close it off because it's got this archway into the kitchen, um, which doesn't have a door on it, but I do have a concertina file that I pull across. And I've also closed the hall Wind, um, door but I've got these big bay windows as well and I guess they get quite drafty so it was I, I thought I'll put the strongest one for me Dazzle Darling was the strongest one on cold and I thought well I'll put it in here um, because it's got a larger area well it overtook the rest of the unit and I know that I've said this about other fragrances it is just it's like cleaning. It's like a lemon cleaner for me. It's like a very powerful um, seize the day. Is it seize the day? Oh, now I've even forgotten what anyway. It's lemon cleaner and it's overpowering. So I had to turn it off. I could not that it was just too much for me. So Dazzle Darling will not be a repurchase. And I think I'll have to mix it with something else to get it through um, because it is just far too lemon for me. Um, and I don't even get the grapefruit, really. Uh, it is lemon. And I don't get salted and I don't get coastal waters and I certainly don't get beach sage which is sad um, because I do like the blue sage and tonka oh no it's just lemon cleaner for me so there you go as I said that is just my opinion one thing I did want to say about my friend Jeannie here was a couple of days ago I actually put in a scent pack in his back here and I, he is smelling beautifully. It is one of the strongest scent packs that I have in my buddy. Um, when sitting here, I can actually smell his fragrance. So there you go. If you are looking for a strong blueberry fragrance in a scent pack, Three Wishes in the scent pack is definitely the strongest that I have ever smelt. I mean, I know they're probably the others and I haven't smelt them. So there you go. Beautiful bag. Glamorous you. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll put my details below. I've got an empties video coming up, so that'll probably be it. 
stay safe, look after yourselves and happy melting. See you later. Bye.